coaches and wrestlers. Hey, when I first got to college, um, my coach told me I had to learn how to do a single leg. Uh, I was a big guy, obviously, and he said I had to learn how to do a single leg. I didn't want to do it, um, and he said I would never be able to do it. But man, once I got it down with a lot of repetition, um, that's in, that ended up being the way um, that I won most of my matches with a single leg. So here we go. Here's a setup to a single leg. Like I said, I was a big guy. I wrestled heavyweight. So here's what would happen. I'd wrestle these big guys, and I, especially my freshman year, I was, I was small. And I would wrestle these guys where I couldn't win the hand fight. We learned hand fighting. I couldn't get inside on these guys. So Heath and I are here hand fighting, and you're always taught to get inside control so you can get to your leg attacks and get to your stuff. I had a really tough time. These guys would squeeze and push and pull, and, and I wasn't used to that. And I couldn't work my way inside. So as soon as I learned this, this one little trick, and learned that it was okay to go outside, um, go outside the, the, that tie, um, it changed everything for me, and I, 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 I lived there. So... Coach has got a collar tie here. Man, I keep strong. I can't fight in. I can't get in here. I would just say, okay, I'll come over the top. Now, here's the trick here. You don't want you to leave your elbow high because if I leave my elbow high, what's that do? He's got a free pass to my legs. <clears throat> so I would go here. I grab his far ear. I pull it to his shoulder, and my elbow goes down. Now, he feels fairly comfortable. Like, he's got an inside tie, and he's good. But now my elbow's down, so if Coach does shoot on me, I'm trying to block here. That's one. One tie. Okay. A lot of guys were, were really big, and I couldn't reach all the way over here and pull it, and I didn't want to leave my elbow high. So I would just come right here in the elbow crease. Okay? And I would pull here. Now, I could still, I won a lot of hand fights here. I wore on guys, got them tired so that my leg attacks would come open. And all I would do is just keep pulling on guys. Keep pulling on guys. Again, look at my elbow. It's down. Elbow's down. If I hang out here, what's coach going to do? He's underneath me. Tight elbow comes down. I can pull. I'm pulling. Wait down. If he shoots, my elbow's down. I can down block. I'm in good position. So that's where I want to start on this single leg. I want to hang there. Option one, here. If I can't quite get it, I'll come here. It's okay. Now, what I want to do is I, I would pull these guys. See that step? As soon as I pull them down, there's that step. That's what I'm looking for. It's, I'm pulling the guy to me. I'm pulling him to me. So I pull the guy to me, and then I'm looking for my leg attack. Whether you want to hit a knee or high level, it doesn't matter to me. I pull my free hand, thumbs facing him, palm up, okay? All I'm going to do is hold his elbow in place, okay? A lot of people are trying to post here, and it just doesn't work. You're not pushing. You're not pushing. I'm just holding it here, and I'm changing levels. I pull, change level and he comes over the top. So I'm holding it. I'm doing the work, I'm changing levels. I'm holding and changing levels. Pull, change levels. Again, high level, pull, change level. I'm pulling him to it and I'm taking that step to my single leg. Here, here, pull. Hey, coaches and wrestlers, hey, listen here. It's a mindset thing. My mindset is always on the attack. I'm not looking to just defend and keep guys off of me. I'm looking to score on them. So just because I'm on the, the attack mode all the time doesn't mean that I got to take bad shots. It means that I'm always positioning myself to score on this guy. So keep that in mind. I'm, I'm looking to get this guy out of position and then score. So when I'm doing these moves, okay, I'm always ready to attack and shoot. Keep that in mind. Here we go, number two setup. So we have over tie setup. You go over the top here, over the top. If I can't reach, I'm coming to the elbow. And remember, when I pull this guy, I'm in attack mode. I'm not just pulling this guy and standing back here. I'm always pulling, okay? I'm here, we're wrestling, and I'm pulling, ready to attack. I have my lead leg forward, ready to get to his leg. Here's the setup number two, okay? When I, when I was, uh, again, guys were really strong and I couldn't win that inside tie. So then I, I realized I could, I, could, I could wrestle there and still be in good uh, position. And then number two was this. I learned to post a lot. So when I post, I'm, not just, I'm just not leaving my head there. There's intention behind this. I'm almost looking to the side of the guy's head to push him away. I want this guy to react. Okay? So if he doesn't react and I push him and he's not going to react, I'm just going to keep pushing him and run down a single leg. That's not what a good guy's going to do. A good guy's going to react. He's going to get that hand off of him. Okay? So when I post, he's going to grab it. Right there. I post, I'm pushing, there. Here's what I always say to everybody. 
when he po- when he grabs it, I always, in my mind when I was wrestling, this is what I always thought. Bad decision. He should not have grabbed my wrist because now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go score on him. He grabs it, I would say thumbs down, bad choice. Thumb down. Now, elbow to elbow, I like to grab above his elbow, above his elbow crease. Here, remember, head inside single, my ear goes to his chest. The quickest way to this guy's leg is a straight line. I'm not running around this guy. I'm getting to the leg, and then I'm getting backside. Backhand, backhand reach. It's always the backhand. You know your stance? Here's my back, my back leg. Backhand reaches. If it's my lead leg, again, what does that do? It leaves me open to, to him to get to my leg. Backhand reach, I post. I push. Bad choice, coach. Elbow to elbow, above here, and single leg. Post, thumb down. Again, I want to get to the leg, then I'm going to work backside. Post. On all of these, you guys, we're going to go through the finish here again in, the, in a second. We're going to get backside and get the foot off the mat. But on all these, we're always running backside, and we're always trying to get this guy's foot off the mat. Once you get backside on this guy and get the foot off the mat, you can stop and restart. Guys and gals, here we go. We're going to put these together um, and review, all th- review this and put them all together and show you guys the finish on the backside and getting the foot off the mat. So here we go. One was this. This guy ties up, collar tie. I, he's strong. I can't get inside. I'm trying. I just can't. I can't. Okay, relax. Come here. On the ear, I pull it to his, uh, to his shoulder. My elbow's down. I backstep. I pull here, elbows down, I pull the free hand, palm up. All I'm doing is holding his elbow in place and changing levels. Come on. And then going backside, foot off the mat. I can't reach there, I go to the elbow crease. Pull, here. Two, I post. You grab my wrist, thumbs down, bad choice, elbow to elbow, grab above the elbow crease. I'm straight line to him, then I'm running backside. Foot off the mat. We're wrestling. I pose. That's the whole, that, that's putting it all together. You got the over tie, you pull the elbow crease, you pull down, you're blocking, changing levels, get into the single leg, backside foot off the mat. Then the other one is you post, back leg hand, thumb down, elbow to elbow, above the elbow crease, sweep, or you can even do it. If you don't want to hit your knees, here. 